Hello, this is Mike from PPSM in PA. That's Prince her Pines Power Sports Marine, Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. And here is a custom 2013 Can Am Renegade 1000 build that I got to do this summer. Here it is out of the box, uh, yellow in color at the moment. I'll squish down, and here's what we did to it. Stripped the plastic off it and sent it away to a local fellow who did an awesome job on a custom paint on it called Orbital Blue. Turned out really nice, really tough when I was putting this plastic back on the unit. There was no chipping going on. Um, just looked really sharp. Really well done. Yeah, did an awesome job to it. Here you can see it stripped down in the shop. I've got the, sh the springs off the shocks sent away to the powder coaters. I've got the exhaust already on it. Kind of going for a black uh, on blue kind of look here. And uh, turned out nice. Of course we added our HD bumper on the front and tried something a little different on here. I went with a two inch full snorkel on it. So basically the CVT intake exhaust and air intake are all two inch on it. Quick shot of the wheel combo we're going to add to it, the Sedona rims, and going with an ITP 589 tire. We want a trail ready machine here, of course, not uh, not something full modified for mud, but something in between that's still a fast trail runner, but yet if you get into some trouble, you can get through it without any engine clutch damage and uh, have a lot of fun at the same time. Took this thing up on the hill, I wanted to get a little sunlight on it. The paint looks a lot different outside than it does sitting in the showroom. It just basically doesn't do it justice. Here's a shot here of it. So like I said, I got the two inch snorkels on her. We're kind of going on a black on blue look. The black handguards, the black rack, the black rims, the brushed aluminum. And yeah, it turned out really sharp. Like I said, we added the heavy-duty bumper on the front with the Warren RT30 3,000-pound winch. A uh, couple things with the 2013s, you do notice the, the axles are thicker on them. Um, of course, they've got a few little frame upgrades added to them. And just a quick shot of the, the rim-tire combo here. Said Sedona's and an ITP 589 tire. Really popular tire. We've used it for a lot of, for a lot of uh, applications over the years. and It's a tire that really holds up and gets you through a lot of stuff. Quick rear shot of it. Of course we've got the HMF dual exhaust on it. And we added the vector, the black vector tips to it. it looks really sharp on the back. Rear diff boot protector. And there again you kind of see a shot of the axles back there. They are thicker of course. Uh, rear rack we added on to it and you get a shot of the heavy-duty billet fuel cap there. They're not just for looks. We've actually got a heavier o-ring in those things so that they seal better. We don't want any mud getting in the fuel tank. The pistol grip shifter, something we actually put on the commanders, but because I have the two-inch handlebar riser on here, we can easily fit that on also. Nice addition. 1000 V-twin while it's 82 horsepower and of course the Renegade is 4x4 so it's a sport unit but yet 4x4 capable. Now one thing, like if you're looking at Renegade to Outlander, BRP does claim to be about 70 pounds lighter on the Renegade, so if you are an aggressive trail rider, this is definitely an option you want to consider. Um, they are a lot of fun to ride. I have raced a few of them, and uh, the 1000 has uh, got a lot of power to it. Some quick shots, some different angles at the back here, and like I said, we're at Pines Power Sports Marine. This one, a lot of custom builds we do are pre-sold, but this one we did ahead of time. It is sitting in the showroom right now for sale. And if you want to, come on down and check it out. If you got any questions on it, contact the sales guys here or myself through the YouTube channel. I'm also on Sask Hardcore ATV Forum, so if you want to know something on that, on this unit or any unit, give me a shout on there. I'll, uh, I'll definitely help you out. I know the insides and outs of these, uh, these bikes that I'm putting up. So thank you. Like I said, I'm Mike from PPSM, and uh, right on.